As Lok Sabha polls inch closer, political heavyweights across the country have begun attacking one another. While the Congress, which has been struggling to get any traction, is carrying out several outreach programs across the country, the incumbent BJP continues to portray confidence of a sure win in 2024. Here's more. Congress's AICC desk in charge for Goa, Manikam Tagore, is on a state visit to Goa, wherein he met GPCC's top brass to take stock of the party. Following the meeting, the party held a press conference where Manikam Tagore attacked the BJP for silencing the opposition in Parliament. Listen. In Parliament, for the past one week, the opposition parties have been not allowed to speak, and uh, particularly the BJP members in Delhi are blocking the parliament functioning. First time in the history of parliament of India, ruling party is involving in the adjournment of parliament. Only the ministers were allowed to speak in parliament. All the 18 opposition parties, no member has been given opportunity to speak. Mr. Rahul Gandhi ji, who wanted to speak from Thursday, because the allegations made by the Defence Minister, Law Minister, Parliamentary Affairs Ministers and the Sports Minister. He wanted to clarify and he wanted to put his views. He has not been allowed on Thursday, he has not been allowed to speak on Friday. As you all know that Thursday, the, Friday, the Lok Sabha television became muted. First time in the history, the, there is no voice of Lok Sabha has been uh, yarded out. It has become a blow on the democracy itself. While the party has been struggling to make ground on its own, especially with its MLA's jumping ship most polls, the Congress has been vying to create strong ties with other opposition parties on common issues, such as the alleged Adani scam. Here's what AICC's Manikam Tagore had to say. And opposition, 18 opposition parties, including the Amadmi party, including other all other BRS and the other parties which are new entrants into our uh, uh, into our uh, like-minded parties in the floor, all are together in this fight against the government on the Adani scam. The opposition parties are demanding for a JPC in the parliament. We want a JPC on the Adani scam. All the 18 parties are together in this um, uh, big uh, demand for, uh, for a JPC. Particularly, the CPI, CPM, DMK, uh, JDU, Sivshena, Udav, uh, Takarajis, uh, MPs, as well as the RSP, Muslim League, uh, G, uh, SP, uh, uh, Amadmi, uh, our, uh, except TMC. Except TMC, all, are, uh, all the opposition <laughs> parties, 18 parties are there. But we have a common ground on which yesterday also we would have seen that we all agitated, sat on a satyagraha in front of Gandhi statue. Day before yesterday, we were having a human chain of MPs in the parliament building where our Lok Sabha MP uh, from Goa was leading from front in yesterday's uh, demonstration in Gandhi statue satyagraha also and in the human chain also. Congress parties, MPs, all are involved in it and we want the parliament to function and the BJP don't want the parliament to function because when the parliament functions, we are asking for Adani's scam and the relationship between Mr. Modi and Adani. When asked about the party's Lok Sabha preparedness, Tagore had this to say. For the Lok Sabha candidates, Congress Working Committee has to be formed. Raichur Congress has desired, authorized Mr. Arge Saab to uh, form the new working committee of Congress party with 50-50, that is 50 percentage of the youngsters who are below 50. In all other appointments also, now Congress party will have the follow-up of 50-50 model where 50 percentage office bearers will be below 50 and 50 percentage will be above 50. With that model, with that new uh, CWC, when it is formed, it will be discussed in the CEC, in the CWC, and decisions will be taken. Vincent Rosario, Subhashish Goekar, and Nikhil Zarmi for Goa 365.